Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Metamorphosis Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't with any coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you all. You have the first overall message here of a thinking man or woman. When you know better, you do better. Spiritualist. Believe in yourself at all times. Angels watch over you. Loving myself. I am a light worker. You don't need anybody's approval or permission to know that you are somebody. Spiritual gifts. Abundance. Moving to karma waters. And life purpose. Okay, collective, so you are a thinking man or woman, honey, okay? Um, I feel like you have a really grown in your life. You've lived, you've learned, okay? You now know better, you're doing better, okay? And somebody here is a spiritualist, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to continue to have faith and believe in yourself at all times. Love you even when no one else do, okay? You do have angels watching over you everywhere you go and everything you do. May angels watch over you, okay? Um... You're loving yourself, like I said, okay? Um, not only are you a spiritualist, but you're a light worker spirit is saying, okay? Um, you don't have to seek other people's um, approval in any type of way. Spirit is saying you don't need nobody else's approval, permission, or acceptance, or anything to know that you are somebody. You have some spiritual, you have spiritual gifts, and because of your spiritual gifts because you're a spiritualist because you are a light worker there's abundance that is coming to you okay and because of this abundance you're moving on to calmer waters this is all a part of your life purpose okay your spiritual gifts is tied into your life purpose you being a spiritualist and a light worker is tied to your life purpose in some type of way and this is going to bring you abundance spirit is saying okay guys so honey that's what's going on here you all please remember to like share and subscribe that is your free way of showing your support to the channel okay so we're clarify a thinking man or woman and believe in yourself at all times So we have truth here, okay? So it's like you know truth, you know the truth, okay? You have clarity, okay? Um, I feel like you are a free thinker. You think for yourself. You don't allow other people to shape and mold your uh, your thoughts and, and opinions uh, as it relates to things. You know the truth about yourself regardless to what anybody else is saying or think or what have you this is the reason why you believe in yourself at all times okay yeah when you know better you do better spirit is saying um with angels watching over you you could be you could have some type of spiritual union okay now this spiritual spiritual union could could be between you and the most high this could be a spiritual union that is coming in for you okay to clarify spiritualist and loving myself we have victory and success okay so you are going to reach or have reached a level of victory and success in some way shape form or fashion spirit is saying to clarify i am a light worker we have um an abundance we have balance here okay so whatever this uh, you being a light worker 
okay whatever work you do as a light worker is going to bring in abundance for you and it's going to balance out it all aspects of your life as well okay Spirit, so clarify you don't need anybody's approval or permission to know you're somebody and moving to calmer waters. I feel like you have been um, patiently pl and planning. Okay. We have here accelerated motion. So you're like this shooting star, okay? You are moving forward. You're not stuck. You're not stagnant. You're not in limbo, uh, hanging around, waiting on anybody else, waiting for something to happen, okay? You don't need anybody's approval, permission, acceptance, or um, anything like that. You know that you are somebody, okay? You know that you have a calling on your life, you, and you're moving forward with this acceleration accelerated motions here you're moving on to karma waters okay so we clarify spiritual gifts as well as life purpose i see love begins here as well as third eye chakra here okay so your third eye chakra is definitely of importance here okay this ties into your spiritual gifts okay your third eye is open because of the spiritual gifts that you have and you're using this as um, part of your life purpose okay yeah, bottom of the deck, we have new beginnings here. So there's definitely some type of brand new beginning that's coming in for you as well, Spirit is saying. Okay, guys. So that's what's going on here. Let's see what other uh, clarification we get from Spirit. So to clarify a thinking man or woman, believing yourself at all times with truth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you not the player, okay? You the coach, okay? you uh, of, of of the game okay um you could be a coach you could actually be a coach okay but you could be like a like a life coach a healer a helper you give advice okay you have obedience about yourself you're very knowledgeable in some type of way you share this truth this knowledge okay to coach others in some type of way possibly it's very clarified when you know better you do better and angels watch over you somebody wants to marry you there's a spiritual union that's coming in for you that's going to lead to marriage. Mm -hmm. There's a spiritual union that's coming in for you that's going to lead to marriage, Spirit is saying, okay? To clarify, spiritualist and uh, love, uh, let's see, what is this? We got loving myself. We have adventure here, okay? So you're someone who is adventurous, Spirit is saying here. This uh, talks about you exploring or being an explorer, your passions, as well as travel here. You're definitely going to have some type of victory and success here. To clarify, I am a light worker with abundance and balance. We have profession here, okay? I feel like you are a jack of all trades. Look at this person with these multiple hands here. And considering the fact we know that you're not an octopus, I feel like you have um, many different talent, skills, or abilities, okay? You're someone who's very artistic or creative. Um, like I said, you're a jack of all trades. You can do many different things, okay? Um, this talks about your expertise, okay? As well as your talent, skills, and abilities, like I said here, okay? And I definitely feel like um, you're very lucid, fluid, um, mutable okay you have a lot of different um talent skills and abilities okay um as it relates to your profession your career your occupation your job the work that you do even your hobbies so to clarify um you don't need anybody's permission or approval to know that you're somebody with moving on to common waters and accelerated motion okay so we have libation here okay i feel like your spiritual beliefs your spirituality or your religious beliefs um your meditation your donations your prayer is very much important to you this could be something that you do daily okay this is why you don't need anyone else's uh, approval or permission um to know that you are somebody okay you're not seeking others' acceptance because you accept yourself. You are accepted by the Most High already, okay? You have already been accepted. So, you know, what does it look like you sitting up seeking the, the permission, approval, or acceptance of human beings, okay? When you have already been accepted by the Most High, whom is immortal. You understand? 
Spirit, um, clarify um, spiritual gifts, life purpose, and third eye chakra. Spiritual gifts, life purpose, and third eye chakra. We have protests here, okay? Whatever your spiritual gifts that you have that's tied into your life purpose, um, as well as your third eye chakra here, I feel like you use this energy to protest something, okay? You could be an activist of some kind. You speak up against inadequacy, uh, injustices, okay? You bring attention to certain things, okay? As well. The bottom of the deck, we have okay here, okay? So, um, this talks about stability, harmony, as well as acceptance here, okay? So, even though you're not seeking others' acceptance, I do feel like that you are going to be accepted um, by others, okay? Because of the person you are, because of the work that you do, okay? Because of humility, because of uh, humanity, to clarify a thinking man a woman and believing yourself at all times with truth and coach we the sun gives you strength and empowerment here okay you are someone who is very strong spirit is saying okay spirit clarify when you know better you do better angels watch over you spiritual union and marriage So we have renewal in spark here. There's some type of renewal that, or uh, renewal that's happening in your life, okay? Something is going to spark in your life again. I feel like it's when you come into contact with the spiritual union. And you're someone who's already a spiritualist. You have spiritual gifts. You're a light worker. So it would only be fair for you to have some type of spiritual union come in for you. It's going to lead, lead to marriage here, okay? And um, this is what spirit means by you know better you do better okay so you have raised your standards um in in respects to like lovers uh even even confidants and associates and different things like that or what have you but there's definitely a spiritual union that's going to lead to marriage that is coming in for you this is the reason for this renewal and the spark in your life here okay to clarify spiritualists um love myself victory and success and adventures we have rebirth in winter you're having you're going to have some type of rebirth in the winter month okay which is definitely coming up i am a light worker with a abundance balance and profession we have the feminine energy here so to clarify um you don't need anyone's approval or permission to know that you're somebody moving into calmer waters accelerated motion and libation Somebody may want to apologize to you or may want um, your forgiveness for something here. We also have autumn here, which talks about a harvest. There's some type of harvest that is coming in for you, Spirit is saying, okay? Um, as you accelerate in motion forward, as you move on to calmer waters, okay? There's some type of harvest that is coming in for you. Spirit, clarify spiritual gifts life purpose third eye chakra and protest so i see here uh self-worth ex and expectations along with stability harmony and flow here okay so because of your self-worth you have a uh, particular or certain expectations here okay i feel like this is tied into the stability harmony and flow that is coming in for you I definitely feel like you speak up or speak out about deceptions in some type of way, injustices, inadequacy. Yeah, I see you remember an awakening here. So you could definitely have had some type of major awakening, um, some type of breakthrough. Yeah, you're focused on self-love creation as well as your intentions while you're in while you are working with your spiritual gifts and in your life purpose spirit is saying okay so we're going to take one more oracle deck guys and then we're going to pull the tarot and wrap this reading up spirit clarify this thinking man and woman believe or men, thinking man or woman believe in yourself
Spirit, clarify this thinking man or woman. I feel like you're the type of person that don't go along with the status quo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not the type of person that's just going to go along to get along, okay? You're not going with the agendas and the propagandas, okay? There could be some type of settlement coming in for you here. You could be receiving some type of settlement. This also talks about some type of agreement or compromise in some type of way. So to clarify, when you know better, you do better with angels watch over you. So I see pop up here, whatever this spiritual union that's going to lead to some type of marriage, this spark in your life, this renewal all of a sudden um, with another person, I feel like this is just going to pop up out the blue, okay? You might not even be expecting. This is like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody deserves to be loved and, and perhaps even want love, but say you're someone who's single and celibate, you know what I'm saying? When you, you, you don't, you're not supposed to go out looking for love, you know what I'm saying, or chasing love in some type of way, and that's the, that's the very time when love will just creep up on you, okay, in some type of way, because you're focused on yourself, you're focused on your in your life purpose, you're focused on your work, you're focused on your day-to-day -day task and things that you have to do, um, loving yourself, self-love, self-care, self-concern, your independence and everything, and then here comes love popping up, okay, so something is going to be spontaneous, unexpected, with the spiritual union that's coming in. Okay, Spirit, clarify a uh, spiritualist and loving myself. Spiritualist and loving myself. So yeah, you have had an ascension here, okay? This talks about your spiritual path. This talks about the fact that you have had some type of awakening of some kind here, okay? This is definitely going to bring you victory and success. You're in this adventure type of energy. You're having a major rebirth, um, in the winter as well here okay also somebody loves admire adore you okay there's some type of enchantment type of a feeling as well spirit clarify i am a light worker abundance and balance so we have happiness here i feel like you being a light worker this abundance coming in for you i feel like your profession Whatever you do for work, occupation, career, brings you happiness, okay? I feel like you feel some type of wholeness in what you do. You're overjoyed. You're smiling, okay? Spirit, clarify, um, you don't need to seek anyone's approval or permission to know that you're somebody with moving on to calmer waters, accelerated motion, yeah, child, this person keeps trying to come out. Whoever this soul, the spiritual union is, this person is a soulmate. Y'all are similar in some type of way. Um, Y'all are going to have a very strong friendship, um, as well as this is going to be your romantic partner, okay? Yeah. He want all his energy to come out. This divine masculine, okay? Spirit clarify, you don't need anyone else's permission or approval to know that you're somebody. Moving on to Kama Waters. Somebody may come in trying to negotiate with you, want to come to some type of compromise with you in some type of way. Okay, so we have the divine feminine here. Okay. You're you're moving forward, moving on to Kama Waters. See, with this accelerated motion, you're a shooting star. Okay, like I said, your spirituality or your religious beliefs is very important to you with libation here. Um there's a harvest that's coming in for you in these autumn months here, okay? To clarify spiritual gifts in life purpose, we have here wish here, okay? Hoping, praying, yearning. There is something, there's some type of hope, wish, or dream that is coming true for you. Something that you have manifested, okay? Um, is happening for you. Um, spirit is saying here, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have waves here. So this talks about emotions coming and going, okay? Um... 
I definitely feel like this is emotional fulfillment here. With at the bottom of the deck, I see new beginnings, okay, which talks about stability, harmony, and acceptance. And then you have an, another card at the bottom of the deck that says stability, harmony, and flow, okay? So there's definitely stability and harmony that's coming into your life as well as acceptance and flow, okay? Um, while uh, as you step into this brand new beginning and this is giving you some type of emotional fulfillment spirit is saying Okay, guys So let's pull some tarot, honey. I feel like enough is said hold on real quick because this person just they wanted their energy out spirit clarify the spiritual union what is this spiritual union? So we have here, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? Yeah, and bottom of the deck, we have true love, okay? There is, uh, this is the romance of a lifetime, okay? So spirit wants you to keep an open mind about this spiritual union, about the soulmate that's coming in. This love is going to pop up out of nowhere, honey. You like focus on your life purpose, your spirituality, you being a light worker, abundance, you know, everything or uh, what have you. You out here doing you. You're not seeking anybody's approval or permission. You're moving on to common water, honey, and then love popping up, popping in, Okay. Um, but Spirit wants you to keep an open mind, okay? Because whoever your soulmate is, this person differs from your usable type, okay? So, um, you know what I'm saying? If you, I mean, and it could be anything, you know what I'm saying? They just differ from your usual type, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you normally, um, date petite people, um, because that's your type, this person might be, you know, a little thick with it, a little full figured or something. If you normally date within your race, this may be someone outside your race. You know what I'm saying? If you normally date light skinned, this might be someone who is dark skinned. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you got, uh, if, if you know your type, you got a thing for, you know. A chick with long legs, this might be a person that's a little shorter than you. You know what I'm saying? Something like that or whatever. Spirit wants you to keep an open mind though, okay? It literally, it don't have to be those things. It literally could be um, anything, okay? Um, yeah, just anything at all. But Spirit is saying that this is a true love, okay? And this is going to be the romance of a lifetime that is coming in. Um, for you as it relates to the spiritual union, okay? I see the clock here, so there's definitely some type of divine timing at play for you all to come together in some type of way, okay? Yeah, the spirit, oh, okay. Okay, Spirit. Spirit is saying that this person is a healthy choice. Y'all are both into self-love and self-care. Um, y'all are going to make each other happy. Um, and y'all are just going to have a lot of love and life with each other here. And speaking of love, we have unconditional love, self-love, and wholeness, affection, and attraction, and selflessness here, okay? And there's that clock again, okay? So there's some type of divine timing at play for this true love to come into your life. This is your soulmate, though, Spirit is saying. Okay, Spirit, um, please clarify thinking woman or man would believe in yourself at all times. Yeah, so we got the three of wands here. Motivation, determination, passion, drive. You um, having clear vision, taking action, moving forward, knowing what direction you want to go in, okay? Yeah, whoever this spiritual union that you're going to have with, this person is a higher fit. This person may be in a position of leadership, okay? Um, they may have others that, uh, that look up to them. This person could be uh, a teacher, a healer, a spiritualist, uh, a pastor, um, a counselor, a therapist, or anything like that, okay? So like I said, this person may differ from your usual type. If you've never dated someone who um, is in a position of authority or power or someone in a position as such, this is this is who your person is, honey. Um, this person is in a higher fit position. Like this person could be something as simple as a life coach, okay? Um, or a motivational speaker. Um, this person could be a counselor, a therapist, they hell, they could be a doctor, a nurse. Usually the higher fund is they work in any type of positions where they either help, heal, teach, guide, uplift, uh, train, um, others in some type of way. Like they, 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 like they're, they're the leader in something here. If you look at this card, you see how these people are down here up under here. And it's not like these people are beneath him, like, you know. 
in a negative way but these people look up to whoever this person is okay so this could be like a religious leader this could be someone who has some type of organization or structure uh, management uh, some type of power or authority of some kind this person is in this higher than energy so you clarify spiritualist and loving myself spiritualist and loving myself there's a lot of people, I see the five of ones here, there are people who are jealous, envious, and intimidated by the fact that you are a spiritualist, that you love yourself, okay? Um, there could be people in competition with you because of this as well, okay? Spiritualist and loving myself, spirit. Okay, hold on. We got to go back real quick, okay? Because this emperor wants to come out here. Whoever this hierophant is, he definitely has a position of power or authority in some type of way. He could also be some a father or a father figure, okay? Damn, these people who jealous of you, oh my goodness. These people who are jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, competing with you, they could be causing some type of conflict or want to cause some type of conflict. These people are liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, and con artists thinking and creeping around trying to get away with something, okay? They're backstabbers, betrayers, they're two-faced, they're low down and dirty, okay? They could be trying to sabotage you or ruin you or end you in some type of way um, by trying to, by causing this conflict here my goodness spiritualist and loving yeah these people want to cause you some type of heartache or heartbreak sadness sorrow misery disappointment regret child that's a side note child but we ain't worried about it um so we're clarify spiritualist and loving myself please spiritualist and loving myself so we have the um, Ace of Wands here. So this talks about growth. I told you, you have grown a lot, okay? Um, the, the Ace of Wands talks about growth. It talks about passionately moving forward in life towards the things that you want. This talks about taking action um, swiftly, okay? But there's a lot of growth here. Um, as it relates to you being the spiritualist, as it relates to you loving yourself, as it relates to the spiritual... Um, uh, excuse me success and victory coming in for you as it relates to your ex ascension your life purpose okay your awakening okay this rebirth that is coming in for you in the winter so to clarify i am a light worker with abundance here okay so <sighs> Spirit is saying that your hard work is about to pay off, okay? I feel like you have done a lot of hard work, okay? And a harvest is now coming in for you. You didn't give up. You kept on working hard, okay? That seven of pentacles energy has turned, is turning into the ten of pentacles here. This is a large amount of abundance, financial stability, security, prosperity coming into your life here. You're going to be grounded, stable, and secure. Spirit is saying that this is a gift from God. This abundance that is coming in for you is a gift from God. You have the seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles come out all together here, okay? Yeah. So you clarify, you don't need anyone's permission or promote, approval to know that you are somebody. Yeah, this has to do with your work, okay? You are moving on to calmer waters as it relates to your work in this accelerated motion. There's an, uh, with Autumn here, there's a harvest coming in for you, okay? I feel like you work hard. The Eight of Pentacles talks about the money one makes from the work that they do. Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah. Any other messages, Spirit? So you don't need nobody's permission or approval or acceptance as it relates to the work that you do, Spirit is saying, okay? You're continuing to move on to Kama Wadas, okay? Whether you get that round of applause or pat on the back, uh, you know, uh, achievements, medals, honors, uh, rewards, uh, regardless, okay? Yeah, why? Because you're a high priestess, Okay? You're high priestess, you're highly intuitive, you're naturally empathic, you're psychic, you're enlightened, you're very wise. You hold secret knowledge, secret information, occultic knowledge. This is the holy grail. This is a higher power here, okay? This is what you do for work, okay? Child, this man energy keep coming through, honey. Whoever this higher fan emperor is, child, this man loves you. He wants this relationship with you, honey. He wants a commitment. He wants to marry you. Okay? Make him want to marry me. 
He wants to marry you. Put it on him. Make him want to marry you, honey. Um. So, yeah. Uh, to clarify spiritual gifts and life purpose, we have the Nine of Cups here. So, there's some type of hope, wish, or dream that's coming true for you that's interesting because you have the wish card here, which talks about hoping, praying, yarning. Okay. So, some type of hope, wish, or dream is coming true for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. So, this wheel is in the upright. It's turning in your favor. You're at the tip top of that wheel. Okay. This is better luck happening for you for, you know, a better luck for a change happening in your life. This is stability. This is harmony. This is flow. This is abundance. This is prosperity. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Bottom of the deck, we have the judgment, six of swords, four of cups. So you're making some type of judgment or decision to move on to calm waters here. This could have something to do with some type of offer or proposal that you are receiving. Yeah. That's what's going on here, y'all. Okay, so I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you may know that somebody is dealing with. Okay, um, real quick, guys, let me let me see what these people malfunction is, honey, because you have people jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. They're in competition with you, honey, so much so that they want to cause some type of conflict or strife in your life, okay? These people are liars, cheaters. Yeah, look, this is why they're jealous of you, because you're a light worker, okay? Yeah, these haters keep your name in their the MF and mouth. Spirit is saying these people who are jealous of you keep your name their your name in their MF and mouth. Spirit is saying, okay, yeah, these people want to cause conflict for you because they're frauds, fakes, and imposters. So they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, okay? Yeah. These people are liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, and con artists. They sneak and creep around trying to get away, away with things, okay? Why? Because they're cloud chasers, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit, what else is going on? Yeah, be careful of fake friends. You could have some fake friends who is a part of this. They low down in dirty shames, okay? They two-faced, they're deceitful, they're disloyal. Um, they're, they've betrayed you or, or, or full of betrayal. They're shady. They're backstabbers. Okay. You could definitely have some fake friends who are trying to betray you or stab you in your back, or they have already done this. Okay. Yeah, these people that want to cause you some type of heartache or heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, or misery. Somebody is using magic to try to control your free will, spirit is saying. Okay? Yeah, whoever you are, you no longer is going along to get along with nothing. Okay? Yeah, these sellouts that, that is, is jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. Spirits say sellouts don't work for God. They're shepherds for the devil. So these people working against you, they're shepherds for the devil, Spirit is saying. Okay? Spirit, any other messages? You could be a starving artist. Okay? Yeah, you guys, it, it may be some crazy, corrupt, dollar make you holla content creators out here who are sellouts, devil worshippers, hustlers, and scammers who um, could be jealous, envious, and intimidated by you or working against you in some type of way. Yeah, spirits say they soulless beings. What else is going on? Any other messages? You could even have a karmic ex that tried to set you up and had you have you targeted to be a gang stalked. Okay. Spirit, oops, spirit is saying that they're gonna pay with their life for what they have done, okay? There could have even been some corruption within the government going on, some type of uh, illegal uh, government uh, op funded operations or something, okay? But yeah, you're manifesting your hopes, wishes, dreams, and your heart's desires, okay? You have the attitude of gratitude, 
and you just the type that lead and not follow okay and so you know other people feel some type of way about you okay at the end of the day spirit is saying it's going to be a bright bright sunshiny day okay so i thank y'all for listening for watching um for those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at a 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god